What the f what the heck was that, man? I leave a box behind the truck. God. Carry on with my day, man. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I've got a new refresh Ford F-150 in the XLT trim featured with the Sport package. This truck features the Ford's Copilot 360 Assist Package, which is the Ford Safety Suite. Now this features the 360 degree camera, which camera is right here, the camera is up here on the front, which also this package features the radar down there behind that plastic piece and the camera up in the windshield. Ford's Copilot 360 Assist Package helps you keep a peace of mind when you're driving as if you look down to grab a fry out of your cup holder or look down hopefully not at your phone while you're driving and an object comes in front of you like a car or unfortunately hopefully not a person the truck will use the radar and camera in the windshield to help you stop now in the ford sync 4 system inside of the vehicle you can choose your sensitivity of the system now you can either have it set farther to have it go off early, which I prefer, or you can have it medium or early, which it'll go off late, which sometimes is not a good thing. Now, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IHS, tested this F-150, not this one, their own, at 12 and 25 miles per hour at a dummy object and a foam car to see if the system will stop. Now, the system did stop on both tests, on the full adult and the vehicle. Now today we're gonna to test that, see if it actually works against a box. Now if that box doesn't work, I will be the test subject. Hopefully it stops because that would be bad. So you might be wondering, how do you change the sensitivity of a system? Well, I'll show you, it's pretty simple. So in Ford's Sync 4 system, this features the 12 inch screen here in this XLT F-150. First, you're going to want to go down here to Features, Driver Assistance, takes a second, and then go to Pre-Collision Assist. Now, all around, I'll show you what each means. Okay, the Pre-Collision Assist, Ford is really cool with their animations. Okay, what the system says, it turns alerts and supports for forward collision scenarios on or off. That's the, the warning that pops up right here in the dashboard and warns you if you're going to hit something. The distance indication is when you're coming up to a vehicle in the, in the dashboard here, it'll become yellow and then red if you come too close to a vehicle. Automatic emergency braking is what we're going to test today. It actually will slam on the brakes if you're about to hit someone if you haven't hit the brakes already. That goes with if you're getting a fry and someone pulls in front of you or someone slams their brakes on in front of you and you're not paying attention. Hopefully you're not on your phone and then that has to come in. Evasive steering assist is also a really cool feature. Also part of the Copilot 360 assist package. What this does is if you're going to hit someone with the adaptive cruise set and the lane centering on which it steers itself on the freeway and you're gonna hit someone it will automatically throw the steering wheel in whichever lane is clear because it has blind spot in the mirror with the radars in the back and it checks if it's clear first really fast and it will steer the vehicle away from the accident that you're gonna hit the person in front of you which is really cool I have not tested that yet but eventually I will get to that okay alert sensitivity what this does is it changes the sensitivity of the forward collision warning on early medium or high so let's check that out now I have it set to high that is the maximum distance it goes off earlier just in case so you can slam the brakes on earlier or the car will slam the brakes on early. So with that, we're going to set up the box and we're going to run this truck at 10 or 12 miles an hour and see if it stops. And if it doesn't stop, I'll hit the brakes and I will be the test subject after that. All right, let's get to it.
So unfortunately, it didn't work. Oh, it's standing now. Let's try okay. Again. All right, let's go. Try this again. There's the 360 camera with a nice view around the vehicle. It didn't work. What? Didn't it didn't it didn't work. Oh. <laughs> Are you comfortable driving at me at 10 miles an hour? <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, so what's happening now is the box did not work. So I'm gonna have my cameraman do a loop and he's gonna run at me. Hopefully it'll stop. Okay, so the box didn't work, but it did work on here. How fast were you going? 13 miles an hour. Oh, that is that is wonderful. Okay, so the Ford Copilot 360 assist package with the camera plus the radar did work. I'm happy. That was really cool. Thank you, Dustin, for doing that for me. And nobody was injured. Nobody was injured. I jumped out of the way because I mean, a, a 6,000 pound truck barreling towards you, I, it's 13 miles an hour, but still, that was a little scary. You can see it on the other camera, but <laughs> it worked. That was super cool. Was that cool? It was scary, but seeing it work in action is just like, if I was distracted and I was actually in a situation where that feature like could legitimately like not injure someone you know fatally and that would i would i would want to have that in my car if i had the choice okay so we're gonna do another test my friend dustin has graciously accepted the responsibility of walking in front of the six thousand pound vehicle thank you dustin i'll go 12 miles an hour like you did 13. let's try it again okay here we go we're gonna try it with Dustin this time. It is quite chilly out. It says it is 34 and it is snowing. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, that really slams the brakes on. <laughs> And you can see there it flashes pre-collision assist and it worked that really slams the brakes on yep sure that does is, that is awesome put it in park all right thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm so glad this worked the box didn't work the box didn't fare too well it didn't hit it no boxes were harmed in this video i wasn't harmed super cool so catch you next time